this rich? I was this successful? No. Once I was just a lowly programmer, working a day job to earn enough to pay for the rent. But then, one night, inspiration struck, and I knew what I needed to do. In today's world, there's there's a few um, major addictions that teenagers are, are suffering from, and I would argue that the most difficult and the most challenging uh, is the doodle jump addiction. Uh, for, there's for a variety of reasons. One, uh, the nature of the game is such that it never really has an end. The doodle uh, continues to play. Uh, you're continuing to challenge your friends, and at no point can you say, "I have definitively uh, conquered." The doodle jump and uh, for that reason you have people who are doing the doodle jump all day long they're doing it in class they're doing it on the bus sometimes they're doing it in their beds at night when they should be sleeping this is um, a massive and overwhelming uh, addiction that needs to be conquered how much do you play doodle jump a lot uh, when do you not play doodle jump never have you when was the last time you've stopped playing doodle jump yesterday when? When I was sleeping. Um, when was the last time you showered? Three months ago. Okay, uh, do you find yourself struggling with your addiction? No. Do you, do you, what's your high score? Two million five hundred thousand six hundred and two. Baby, we go to rehab, I said no, no, no. Yes, I've been black, but when I come back, no. Hey, Grant, what's up? Oh! Do you realize what you just did? Um, I tapped you on the shoulder? I just died! It's, dude, it's just doodle jump, man. Relax. It's no, it's not. Game. Just calm down, calm down. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. No, it's not. It's just doodle jump. Relax. Alright, I calm down now. Just, it's just that doodle jump is such, such an intricate part of my life. And I don't know what I would do without it. And people say, Grant, what's wrong with you? <laughs> it's really <funny> good. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> Where is it going to end? Kids just don't pay attention to my class anymore. When they lose, it's just the worst. They interrupt the whole class. I mean, I had one kid who got one short of the world high score. He tore the classroom apart. I mean, I, I was actually scared for my life. It was, it's just way out of here. As you can see, Glenn has lost all grip on reality. He actually believes he is a doo-doo jumper. Tries to jump from platform to platform to achieve the, achieve the goal. Unfortunately, we have to keep him contained spaces so that way in case he falls, he doesn't lose himself too badly.